Oh, the things our loved ones would do for us. You see, this all began when I went through another dimension or time portal in the woods and came out the other end through an elevator of all things. Not knowing where I was and quite perplexed, I checked in with the front desk to discover I was in Greer, South Carolina. Nicole at the front desk, she thought I was nuts, but was nice enough to offer me hospitality for the evening. I felt as if I entered a land of imagination, as if I was in the Twilight Zone. One thing was for sure, I needed a ride. And that's where my wife Marianne comes into the picture. I need a ride. I'm gonna need about a day, I guess. It's just over 12 hours. You can, you can do it. It's, I'm in Greer, South Carolina. I'll send you the uh, send you location. While she began planning her trip, I made arrangements to pick up an RV trailer right here in South Carolina. Why waste a trip? Hmm, now that I think about it, I teleported to the state where I bought my trailer. Coincidence? Or a dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. Star Trek thing. You That's got totally. teleported. Beam me up, Scotty. And so that was Mayor's 13 hour drive down to Greer, South Carolina. What she needed now was a nice dining experience and some rest and relaxation. Just a short walk from the hotel was downtown Greer, and it was quite welcoming. We decided on a restaurant named Select, and we were both hungry and looking forward to nice cuisine. Without actually having a reservation, we couldn't get a table, but we were able to dine at the bar, and we were quite entertained by the bartender, where we enjoyed a fantastic meal, finished off with a sheared slice of key lime pie, my favorite. 
Then it was back to the hotel for a little relaxation. And first thing in the morning, we'll be picking up our new RV trailer. And I couldn't wait. All right, we are heading over to ROV Trailers, Trailers of America, and picking up our new trailer. <laughs> yeah. The Jeep was fully charged, and now we needed to get charged. So another stop at Flying Fox Coffee. <laughs> All right, we are downtown Greer, South Carolina. Next stop, ROA Trailers. Picking up our Expedition 2.0, baby. This is a lovely small town. The delightful experience, awesome street, nice little shops, good coffee at the Flying Fox, and it's time to go. All right, we arrived at ROA, and it was pickup day, baby. Hi, I'm Marianne. This is Nate, and we've been talking over the past month putting this deal together. And I have to say, it's good to finally be here and to wrap this up. So this is a slightly used OTG Expedition 2.0, Canadian made and badass constructed. These are built like a tank, all aluminum construction with a steel frame. I'll be making a complimentary video to this one where Nate goes into detail and discusses the features and functionality of the 2.0. It would be just too long for this video, but we'll cover some highlights here nonetheless. Uh, hip camp, hip yeah. camp, yeah. I've heard of those. I just did one not too far from here. Oh, did you? Yeah? Yeah, yeah oh. it was in North Carolina, up by DuPont State Park. Okay, all right. Western North Carolina. Okay. This is my wife, Hello. Alicia. Alicia, hi, hi. it's to great to you. meet you. Yes, Marianne. my wife, Marianne. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah so we, we are. Yeah, we down from Connecticut. Oh, cool. Yeah. Long trip. And we're going to take our time going back and hit a couple places on the way up just to oh, break up the drive yeah. and get used to the test new, it uh, test it out. It. We are excited. So yeah, exciting. we're excited for you. So Nate began the walkthrough and operation of the trailer's features. Again, I'll make an in-depth video that covers most of this footage here. But for now, let's hit the highlights so we can get on the road and start heading to our first campsite in North Carolina, just under two hours north from here. Dual zone. I mean, not necessarily dual zone, but it does have a freezer over here. Okay, cool, cool. It's perfect. Freezer, ice, ice cream while camping. <laughs> it's, it's great, you know. <laughs> That comes down, and the left side swings out first. All right. That. All of those three. And then this will come out. I see. That comes out. And then what we'll do is we'll grab these straps. Nice. <laughs> Oh, it does man. have holes, you don't necessarily need to use them. That's what I wanted to ask you. If it's not windy, can you keep them up? I mean, I'm sure if it gets windy, you probably want to put them down, right? Yeah, if it gets windy, you want to put them down and then use guy wires right here. There are some guy wires. So. Okay, you want me to uh, take... I'll hop on the other side and show you how all these controls work. Up here, we've got the Xantrax. So it's saying that our batteries are at 13.5 volts, nice. and that means a float charge. There's three different stages of charging. It will go from bulk to absorption to float. So if you're at 50% and you are done camping and you plug it in, it will be a bulk charge. Okay. And then as it fills up, it will go to absorption and then now it's at a float, which is basically a trickle, trickle charge. charge right? yeah. yeah, okay. Just keeping it topped off. All right, cool. Yep. Sweet. Here's the furnace. So like you said, you click the flame, that just turned it on. And then we'll go crank it up to 86. Yeah. And it will, you'll hear it click and it will light. And I'm feeling that heat now. Yeah, and then behind you is the Max fan. That's the Max fan, right? Yeah. yeah that's All an right, awesome cool. system. You can yeah. grab that and turn it on. Yep. All right. Let's, see. Let's get this bad boy on. So we get here. Press it one All more right. time. One more time. Yep. Ah, there we go. Nice. Yeah, so you'll see here 
it's pulling air in. Oh, that's right. You can uh, you... and it's at thirty percent, so you can barely even hear it. So nice. if we want to go all the way up to one hundred percent, now it's oh, going to wow. pull a lot of air in. And you can feel that. Wow. If you wanted it for, to pull air out, push this button right here, and then it reverses the yeah. Now it's going to stop and reverse twist, the fan. Yeah, twist the other direction. Nice. Yeah, there it goes. Sweet. And then this controls your temperature. So if you wanted it to turn off, if you're trying to cool down the camper and you want it to turn off when it reaches 65, then that's your temperature setting right there. Nice. Yep. And then this is how you close the lid. <laughs> there it is. Sweet. We got our storage. Yep, a lot of Plenty storage. of storage. That oh wow. That that's nice. That is really nice. And it can't beat all of the metal construction. I mean this is no wood. All aluminum. After finishing up with the walkthrough, yeah. it was time to square up, to hitch up, <laughs> and hit the road. Let's go. We still had plenty of light for travel and a quick stop at the grocery store to fill the fridge with food for the next three days of camping as we headed north towards home. This was actually uh, number one right here. This was our this was our spot right here. But uh, the owner had called me and Curtis, just courtesy call and asked me if I, I wouldn't mind just uh, setting up down the hill because he was having some uh, some work done up here. So there was some construction going on and he's just, uh, just making some improvements uh, for, you know, water management, that kind of thing. But this would be a setup right here. And I can leave a link in the description for this, this hip camp website. Like I said, it's just out of Hickory. And this is close to Lake Norman. And yeah, this is, this looks like a really, really good place to stay. In fact, he hooked this up over here with a, with a fire pit and some, some wood and whatnot. And he even set up his own chairs for us so we don't have to set ours up. So, uh, so yeah, so here's our, here's our setup. And uh, up the street from here, he's got some some cattle, some some goats. So uh, you're welcome to go go and see them. This is the 270 awning and that comes over here, and then that comes around. So they make it in a 180 as well. And this is the 270 version. So this comes right around the side here, and right behind the uh, the back of the trailer. And here we have our. We have our furnace, which we will be using tonight. This is the furnace, which ties into the, see the 11 pound propane. And then this is the hot water heater. Now I already had the, the trailer winterized, so we will not be using this. The whole tank, there's a, actually, there's a 31 gallon tank under here, under this. Uh, it's like a 50 degree departure too, which is pretty impressive. And underneath that, that belly is a, a 31 gallon water tank. So uh, we won't be using that tonight. Um, because like I said, it is winter and uh, the uh, the system has been winterized and I just I prefer to keep it like that for now. So what I did was I bought this Dometic. Sorry about this folks, I'm having some trouble with my gimbal here. I bought this Dometic three gallon water, uh, water jug and it is pretty neat. I'm uh, not gonna get into it now, but we do have a spigot here and uh, a couple other options that can be tied into this. It's a great little uh, container. Now let's just take a look inside really quick. We go in. These doors are so beefy. I mean, they just are solid. And this is the inside right here. And we got some, uh, let me just turn on the lights up here. Put those up. And here we have our, here we have our sleeping quarters right here. So that will be where we'll be sleeping tonight. We're looking forward to this. This is our uh, this is our Truma. This is a 69 liter fridge freezer, dual zone. And uh, you can see we have a freezer section right here. We got some ice cream in there. How's that for camping? Uh, we got our goodies right here. We got some nice, look at this, New York strip burgers, with cheese, coconut milk. This stuff right here. Oh, 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 oh yeah, we got the solstice. Never travel without kombucha. That's that's all I got to say to say to that. Let's just go ahead and hit the uh, electronics really quick. That's the kind of stuff that jazzes me up. Just two marine grade. I think they're 100 amp batteries. We got a Zantex 1000 watt inverter. This also controls 
the entire system. It manages the entire system, so if you're doing short power, uh, which we are, or if you're doing solar right here, it manages all that stuff, conditions those batteries. That's about it. I'm gonna get cooking. We spent the afternoon out and about and stopped at REI for a kitchen set we researched from our last visit to REI back home, but this time we actually bought the set and looked forward to using it for this evening's meal. After a full day out, we stopped for some firewood and returned for camp to get things going. This will be our last night in our new rig as tomorrow we drive the last leg home. 